Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So in this particular video, I'll talk about the measures of dispersion in statistics, right? Until so far, I think we have covered up two important parts and the prospectus and I hope that you already have watched the videos for that. One is regarding the shape that we have covered up in our previous part of the video, which is the measure of skewness. And before that, we have covered up about the measure of central tendency, where we have talked about the mean, median and mood. In this upcoming part of the video, I want to talk about that how basically you can measure the spread of your data. So the very first way is with the help of a range. Now, what do we mean by a range? A range is something which is the difference between what is the maximum value that you have inside your data minus what is the minimum value that you have inside your data. Now that you can easily able to find out implementation wise as well. Uh, if you remember, I have showed you with the help of diabetes data that with the help of describe function, you will be able to get a proper stats uh, metrics where you will be having a value of max and min, right? So it's very simple to calculate. Correct. I just want to show you that uh, how uh, its calculation is done. Again, very simple. For example, here I will be having a range of the salaries. Now, you just need to find out in this particular data what is minimum and what is maximum. So here if you will observe, this is the minimum value, right? 30,700 is something which I can say is the minimum value. And the maximum value which I can see is 34,100. So when, uh, when, when I'm saying that what is a range, so I can say that range is something which is the difference between maximum minus the minimum value. So here it is something which is 34,100 minus 30,700. Again, I'm taking the help of calculator. So here, I think maximum is not 34,100. I can see it's 36,000. So let me change the values here again. So it is 36,000. Again, it's very simple. You just need to check that what is the maximum value that you have inside your data, whatsoever data you're, you are dealing with. Now, here, if I'll just find out the difference between these two, I'm getting the answer as 5,300. This is the simplest way to calculate the very first measure of dispersion, measure of spread, that is by calculating the range value, which is the difference between maximum, maximum and minimum value inside your data set. Now, can you say that, is this an effective metric or not? No, it is not. Why? Because here, if you will observe, actually it doesn't matter to this range formula, what are the intermediate values that I have between the max and min. For example, I will be having 32,900, 34,100 and so on. What it matters is, it's just focusing on the, I would say, extreme values, right? It's just focusing on the extreme values. It's not focusing on what are the intermediate values that I have. And that is where I will say it's, there is a major drawback between uh, in within this metric. And that's why you will observe that we are not highly use this particular metric as a measure of dispersion because it is affected by the extreme values. So let me go back to the presentation. So here I have written this line only that it's easy to calculate. That's fine. But it's very much affected by the extreme values. That's why it's not a robust measure. Because if suppose I will add some outlier in this data, again, that range will go a lot high because of that one outlier. That's why it's not a robust measure. So what's next? After that limitation, in order to avoid this kind of limitation, we came across something called as IQR. It's a second important measure of dispersion. IQR is something which I can say is a difference between 75th percentile minus 25th percentile. Now, in order to understand the concept of percentile, Firstly, you should know what is percentile. Suppose if I am saying that I will be having 50 percentile, what does that mean? It means that in a way, I am talking about something called as median here. 
yes median is something which we call as 50 percentile meaning that if suppose you will be having this symmetric distribution in this you are talking about the values which are lying 50 percent or fall below that this is the this is the area which you are talking about when you are saying 50 percentile right so when i'm saying interquartile range i'm talking about something called as q3 minus q1 what does that mean it's just a short form denoting q3 denoting 75 percentile and q1 denoting i would say 25th percentile now the question is how we can evaluate this so this is the formula to calculate the value of iqr so how basically 50 percentile will be evaluated you all know how basically we can calculate the median so we already have a sorted data you can see this example where if you will observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so i will be having 15 number of entries right so it's a odd number i can directly grasp the middle value i can just skip uh, i will say maybe seven data points on the on the left side one two three four five six seven and maybe seven data points on the right side so just in the middle is the 50 percentile i can say which i can also denote it as q2 so q2 is something which i can say is 50. now when i'm talking about 25 percentile which portion i'm talking about obviously towards the left of this 50 what is the middle value i am having so you can clearly see this is something which is the middle value right i have left three elements on the left three elements on the right just the middle one which is equals to 46 so the value q1 i can say is 46 what is the value q3 by the way q3 is the middle one element on the right extreme so here you can just left three elements on the right again and three elements on the left this is the middle one which i'm getting this is something the value of q3 which is equals to 56 here so now the iqr value is something which is equals to 56 minus the value of i would say 46 which is coming out to be 10 this is something which we have as a interquartile range right this is how basically the second important measure which is iqr will be evaluated now here you can see can i say that it is a robust measure of variability definitely yes why because it is not depending on the extreme values right just like the way we have talked about in range so yes it is widely used as a measure of dispersion and even when i will talk about the box plot in the upcoming part of the videos this knowledge will be required again i'll talk about the iqr at that moment and i was i will expect obviously at that moment that you already have awareness about the, this concept that i'm discussing in this particular part of the video right now the last measure which i will discuss in the upcoming part of the video as it requires a lot more time and i want to discuss that that in very detail is the standard deviation and variance so the very first measure we have talked about in today's video which is about the range the second measure again quite important is iqr again an effective one as comparable to range the third measure which i will definitely talk in my upcoming part of the video is about the standard deviation standard deviation or variance there is not that much huge difference between these two but yes we will talk in a lot more detail about this particular part of the third measure of variance in the upcoming part of the video separately with its formula with its intuition what it's denoting and why it is useful but before watching that video if you know that uh, what is standard deviation and how we going to evaluate this particular uh, value what it basically indicates do let me know in the comment section i will be for sure waiting for your comments and with this i would like to in this particular video i hope that you will be able to get a really insightful uh, data from this particular part of the video uh, and your concepts will be really uh, you know strong after watching this video with, with respect to stats and data science and with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone 
एंड आई एल सी यू ऑल इन माई नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो